Hello everybody, today we're going to be building a fade transition in Geometry Dash. So first we want to do is just make a level that you want to put your fade transition in. Let me just type this in really quick. Alright, done. So now you want to go into your editor. So now what you want to do is you want to grab one of these white blocks, place it down. Now, you before you do that, you want to go into the editor, scale it all the way to its biggest height biggest height. So now you just want to scroll that over to the green line. Once I can do it, then we can move on. Alright, so after you do that, you want to copy and paste it and make a huge square. So I'll just keep on copying and paste it until I finished. I'm going to stop right about here. So now you want to swipe all that and then copy and paste it and make it go, make layers of it. So after you finish that, I'll show you what to do next. Now you want to swipe all of this and edit it. You want to make sure it's all swiped or else it won't work. And to be honest, this is really easy, so you guys might get that. So you want to go put it all the way to black and put the opacity to zero. Now you don't want to deselect it yet. You want to go into the group, add the group and lock it. Put the Z order to 8. And then you want to put the Z layer to T3. Now you can grab your move trigger and place it so I can follow you. Follow you. You want to put the move time all the way up. Now you want to put lock the player X. Now what you want to do is you want to place a background trigger where you want the fade to occur. You want to put that at 0 0.37 and then you want to leave the color ID at 1. Then you want to put the color to black. And as you can see, it is now fading black. Now what you want to do is you want to place another background trigger where you want to fade to stop being like that. So you want to put the op opacity all the way to, um, to zero. So now as you can see, it's going to fade. And it's going to fade. Oh, but we see a little bit white. We don't want that. So you want to go back into the color and put that to black. So now if you go in, go out. Smooth. Perfect. Now if we were to play that, well, actually we have to copy and paste it so that, it, so when we play in normal mode so that you can see it much better, and so that you, it, it's full black. Now, it's full black. Now. So now, if we were to play it, full black, oh, but there's a little, little space there. We don't want that because that is not good. So we go into the editor, all we have to do is just swipe, not not that big, but we want to swipe just the first row, like that, see anything else, nope, and then you just copy and paste that, there you go, so now, if we were to save and play that, perfect fade, perfect fade out, so uh, to make it a little bit longer, I'm going to put a block, so that you guys can see the full transition. So, fade in, fade out. And you guys don't have to put that much of the, the fade. Like, you guys don't have to put that much, but thanks, thanks for watching. And I really hope this helped you with your level. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.